Every year, Sheikh Mustafa would commemorate the birth of the Prophet ﷺ by inviting hundreds of people to his house. He would serve them himself. Once, he was serving them fruit. He was carrying a huge tray of fruit and he, uh, he walks through the crowds of people and he, he was holding it above his head as he was walking through the crowds and then he bent down and he put it on his back um, to serve the people. And he became like a table um, around which dozens and dozens of people were coming and taking their um, taking their taking their their, their, their fruit from and um, I think this is this exemplifies uh, much of what uh, Sheikh Mustafa was about he was a man of the people he was he was one of the greatest scholars of our times one of the most prominent students of the late Sheikh Hassan Habannaka considered by many to be the greatest scholar of Damascus of the past century Despite his eminent rank and learning, he would personally go to the houses of students to teach them. He wouldn't differentiate between a prominent student and a less prominent student. Everybody would get the same amount of attention and concern from him. Um, he, would, he would visit people, he would visit the sick, he would console people uh, when, uh, when, uh, when they had a death in the family. Um, Sheikh Mustafa was a talented orator. He used to give khutbahs, his khutbahs are recorded, and uh, he, he would raise his voice, he would lower his voice, the color of his face would change, just as uh, the scholars have described the khutbahs of the Prophet ﷺ. But most of all, he was a man of the Qur'an, and when he used to recite the Qur'an, when he would quote the Qur'an in his khutbahs or in his lessons, his voice would quiver. Um, he had memorized the Qur'an and he had a special relationship with the Qur'an. Sheikh Mustafa, um, I didn't have much time, uh, I didn't spend much time with him. I, had, uh, I caught some glimpses of him, attending, attended some of his khutbahs, attended some of his lessons. Uh, but we have the good fortune of um, Imam Zaid Shakir, one of, his, uh, one of the prominent students of Sheikh Mustafa Turkmani. He's going to join us at Basira um, next week to talk about the life of Sheikh Mustafa and the lessons that we can learn from it. Don't miss it.